Microsoft nags users to upgrade to Windows 10. If you're still using Windows 7, prepare to be informed of its imminent demise. This is because Microsoft is planning to remind you of the need to upgrade to Windows 10 using notifications on your PC. Yes, the hated nag screen is making a comeback. And because it was free, millions of people did so. However, for those who didn't upgrade to Windows 10, those nag screens became a source of frustration. And now they're back. To be fair to Microsoft, the company appears to have learned its lesson from last time. These aren't nag screens begging Windows 7 users to upgrade to Windows 10. Instead, they're merely informing users that support for Windows 7 is coming to an end. As a reminder, Microsoft is ending support for Windows 7 on January 14, 2020, after which, Windows 7 users will be on their own, with no more security updates incoming. It's entirely possible to carry on using Windows 7 after this date. But it's risky. Great. Let's go over some FAQs to make sure you have all the info you need. Pick.twitter.com slash D2Zoi4Deck. To prepare Windows 7 users for the end of support, Microsoft is reaching out with information and resources. So, from April 2019, Windows 7 users can expect to see a notification appear on their PCs. This is billed as a courtesy reminder. On the Windows blog, Microsoft explains that you'll see this notification a handful of times in 2019, ensuring you have time to plan and prepare for this transition. Thankfully, there will be an option allowing you to stop the notifications after the first one. Microsoft obviously hopes that most Windows 7 users will now choose to upgrade to Windows 10. To that end, the notification will direct users to this page which waxes lyrical about all of the ways Windows 10 is better than Windows 7. In all honesty, now is probably the right time to upgrade to Windows 10. Even in 2015, there were some compelling reasons to upgrade to Windows 10. Windows 10 is coming on July 29. Is it worth upgrading for free? If you are looking forward to Cortana, state-of-the-art gaming, or better support for hybrid devices, yes, definitely. And, what is the latest Windows 10 version? How long is it supported? And why did Microsoft switch to a service model? Answers within, textsourcemakeusub.com.